Hello? <laughs> oh no. Oh fucking hell. How are we doing? Are we alright? Where where is the time gone? Oh dear. Just pouring myself a drink. Oh How are you? You alright? Hmm. Words. Ah, oh, right. It seems that uh, b sorry, bitey McBite bite to the bot on the Discord has just cottoned on to the fact that we're streaming. So that's all good. Wicked. How are we doing? Art thou doing well? Just came from Womble Stream. Perfect. Um, yeah, I I was going to play some armor, but oh, uh, 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 I'm not really quite in the oh shit. Fucking Nemit, I see you with the fucking three months there. Thanks very much. I'm I'm ahead of the game. Uh, just drinking some water, mate. I've um I've not drank much water today. No, I feel like today is the day we drink more water. I'm actually going to crack right on um, because we're doing sort of a it's a bit of a chill stream this evening. I didn't know what I wanted to play. I'm kind of a bit burnt out from work, burnt out from the weekend. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of just like, a, I don't have enough bra I don't have enough brain cells to allocate to playing something sort of fickle and, and sort of intense like the long dark or cold waters this evening. So I thought, why don't I drive a train? Because that's just a piece of track, isn't it? Straight line. Should be easy. Um, so yeah, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to play some train sim world and it's, it's basically just going to be a bit of a chill stream to be honest. We will fling questions around. We'll talk about things like the new Star Wars. Oh, um, yeah, fucking obviously no spoilers or anything like that. But I'll I'll tell you a thing or two about the new Star Wars. Oh, fucking holy shit. Hmm. So. Oh fuck! I'm breaking stuff. Right. Let's just fucking ghetto as you. I'm not even gonna name the capture scenes here. We're just gonna go in. We're just gonna get fucking right in there. We're going to play some Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall. Don't want to fucking, don't want to fucking brag, but what a fucking game. <laughs> it's actually, like, it's alright. I've I actually played it a little bit. It's not too bad. Apart from the fact that it's very buggy. Um, I would say to anybody interested in playing Train Sim, um, Train Sim World, don't get it. Um, unless you're really willing to put up with the bugs. And I mean really willing to put up with the bugs. There are a lot of them. If you want to play any of the campaign scenarios, forget it. Absolutely forget it. You should just honestly pack your bags, go home now. Um, but if you if you want to sort of grit grit teeth, see this is this is good, I think. Oh fuck me, that's that's not right. <laughs> uh let's try again. <laughs> Remove. Yep. Go again. Browser source. Browser source, there it is, the stream power lyrics. Perfect, there we go. Yeah, if you like bugs, you don't have to play any of Ubisoft's new titles, you just have to play this game. I mean, if the artwork's anything to go by, it should be really serious. And it is kind of. But today, look at that, fucking Joe, I'm level three. I've driven 39 miles, I'm already a veteran. I've walked. 2.2 miles in this game. Yes, I've walked 2.2 miles. Also, um, I look like fucking 507 in this picture. Um, we're going to be playing CSX Heavy Hall. I fancy doing some of the American stuff today, so we'll do that. We've also got the choice of the Great Western Express, um, which is one of the British high-speed railway lines here here in merry old uh, England. Engelland Humperdinck. Oh, no, it's Ander. How are you doing, Ander? I thought you'd be playing armor, are you just not are just one of the well you're a background CM now. No, can't get into the politics of FK. How did you walk that much running up to running up and down the train? Basically yes, Karma, that's right. Ah, you've got a headache. Fair enough. Right, so let's play CSX Heavy Hall. And we get access to some of the big trains here. Um I can't show you any of the big trains. Can I show you any of the big trains? Services? Ah, here we go. Here are some of the big trains. So, he says none of them are loading. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Right. So, we've got a few choices of train this evening. We've got this one, the SD42, the YNB3, um, or YN3B even. 
Um, this is um, one of the newer trains uh, from General Motors, a uh, diesel electric locomotive. It's got quite a few horses, it's quite heavy. It's um, You'll probably find this um, usually in units of one or two. Um, you'll find that the thing with American railway lines, particularly in sort of North America and Canada and things like that, and to a degree, I mean just all American railway lines, because they have to cover such a vast area, um, you'll tend to find that a lot of the inter, you know, interstate uh, freight lines um, have, are, are, well, are, are only single track, right, this is, this is the thing. They're only single track, which means you have to put as much on a single train as you reasonably can um, in order to make the runs efficient. Because if you have loads of little trains, you end up with backlog and all kinds of crazy stuff because it's only single track. You want to try and get as much on a single piece of track as possible, which means th these American trains absolutely dwarf anything we have here in the UK. They are a ridiculous length. Um, a pretty much down to this thing with single track. The SD42 um, is actually like a solid train, um, to be honest. It's got a lot of hauling power, it's got a lot of bite. Um, the train that looks very similar to it, but is much older, is the GP38. This is a train that's been in service for a long time at this point, and is nowhere near as powerful. Um, on some of the longer freight trains, you'll find this um, usually in uh, units of three, um, or two or three. Um, rather than one or two, and um, these things aren't as powerful, but they were they've been made a fair bit uh, over the years So there's a lot of GP 38s all over America, and um, yeah, this is like this is the classic looking So if you think American sort of freight train, this is sort of the train that sort of lands in the mind's eye And then lastly, we've got a sort of a slightly more modern train from the same company the AC 44 um, this is one of those like you know BSNF looking trains, but part of the CSX company in this case, so it's pretty good. Uh, what's our Discord? Uh, are you still playing Divinity? I am playing shitloads of Divinity, a little tornado, uh, just sort of off on my, well not on my own. I've been playing it, so I've been learning the mechanics of the game, shall I say? Um, it's one of those ones. I've been learning sort of how to do and what to do, and it's all been quite interesting. Anyway. The reason I want to get started so quickly is because we're going to be doing uh, one of the services, which is one of the long haul runs, which means we need to uh, we need to get in game and basically we're going to, it's just going to be a chill stream. This is this is going to be prime second monitor material here. So if you're uh, if you're interested for such a thing, uh, do stick around. Let's sort of hide me somewhere in the background or whatever, and we're just going to talk shit for the next few hours while we complete a long haul run um, down uh, whatever route we decide to run. So. What train do we want to use? Ah, that's the question. I'm not sure. I'm kind of feeling like taking the GP38 out. Sort of a nice train. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the GP38 today. They look very similar. It's got a lot less power and should be a lot more interesting to drive as a result. Lovely. Can I start doing audiobooks? I could start doing audiobooks. I I'll have to sit much closer if I'm going to do audiobooks. Right. Like real, sorry, Pete Saint, Pete Saint says, wait a minute, train simulator, real simulator like in watching out of the windows for hours, exactly. Uh, if you cheat in this game, do you use a trainer? I like it. Cool. Yeah, I think we're going to roll with the GP38. Um, <laughs> the fucking, I hate the windows in this train. You'd think with these two sort of, you know, that kind of classic sort of two window setup, you'd be able to see quite a bit. It's not true. This is the best uh, train in CSX for field of view, the more modern one. You can see the difference in power, both weight, horsepower, and traction um, between this and the GP38. The GP30, GP38 is but a but a pup compared to the might of the uh, the AC44. So yeah, let's load up in the GP38 again because this is going to be the most uh, sort of uh, the slightly harder train to manage as we go through the route. Um, what kind of weather do you guys want? I'll let you guys pick the weather that we're going to be doing in today. At the minute, it's set to default at spring clear. Um, we've also got a choice of cloudy, rain, summer clear, summer cloudy, summer fog, rain, autumn. We've also got winter, we've got winter blizzard, winter snow, winter clear. What do we want to do? We could have a rainstorm. 
We could go for the worst conditions possible. Some people want rain, some people want stormy. Is there any stormy? We've got like... There's winter blizzard. That looks pretty bad. Minus 9.1 degrees centigrade. That could be pretty ropey. Uh, we've also got... Uh, do we have... Summer, summer rain. That's quite bad. That could be quite interesting. Blizzard or storm, please. No snow. I'm already seeing too much outside right now. Winter blizzard. Long dark train sim. Snow. Are we going to go with the blizzard? Do we want blizzard or rain? Say blizzard or rain in chat, whether you want the blizzard or the rain. Because I know you want to see some harsh conditions. So which one do we want to do? There it is. Blizzard. I think a few people want to see the blizzard. Okay. You're not going to be able to see very much, let me tell you. Right. Let's continue. Winter blizzard with the GP38. So we're in the least powerful train. On um, some With some very bad weather. It's Sunday the 1st of January uh, in game. Um, we've got all of these different timetables. Uh, these are all different types of track or different types of train. We've got manifest trains, which are like, um, long, like a not food, but you know, like a goods train almost. Um, we've got uh, move power, which is a type of just moving a train basically. Do we have any intermodals? We've got no intermodals. Just manifest and uh, a short coal move. Which is just yard work, it looks like. Looks like our manifest ones are the other long hauls. So we got Indiana or Indianapolis, Indianapolis to uh, Cumberland. So we're going to be up here. We've got the entire length of the track to go, all the way through the mountains down to the other side. The graphics don't seem too bad for this game, it's not too bad. I'm not sure. Do we want to do... Okay, I'll choose the type of cargo that we're going to do, but do we want to do a morning... Uh, do, we want, do we want to do, like, very late night? Because there's looks like there's two trains running um, at midnight, and then the next train is at 7 o'clock in the morning, and then half past 8, and then 11. Looks like the GP28 isn't running in high demand through the night. <laughs> 14 and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do a late night blizzard okay let's do the Indiana Indianapolis to Cumberland it's a one o'clock or a, a 0 51 morning got a few people want to do morning a few people want to do morning a morning blizzard Morning does outweigh the late nights. Oh god, people are fucking torn. Late nights, morning. We'll eat, we'll do a uh, we'll do the half eight. I think that kind of is the best of both. Oh no, we do the seven o'clock. We'll do the seven o'clock uh, from Willard to Cumberland. How's that? Oh god, now more people are saying night. <laughs> okay. Um. I kind of do want to do a late night one. Uh, no, we'll do that. We'll do the seven o'clock in the morning. Lovely. Let's do the seven o'clock. So let's do, run a uh, let's run service Q three five two. It's a manifest from Willard to Cumberland, or Willard to Cumberland. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Um, the the fact the rapid transit DLC came out and it uses that train. It's set on a German railway. That's one of our trains, um, a class one six six diesel electric train, which is nice. And uh, this isn't the one we're using, I don't think. Is this the GP25? No, that's the SD40. Very big train, then. Fuck me, it's dark. Hang on. Um, right. One thing I wanted to do was change the uh, notifications. We'll leave notifications off. Button prompts we'll leave on for now. In fact, we'll leave the button prompts off. Gradient units I want in ratio. Screen cr sc we want high screenshot quality. Disable junction derail. We'll leave that off. Objective marker. Not stop marker. Next speed limit markers. Next speed limit hood. We'll pop the hood on. There we go. And then we'll turn the markers off. So marker off. Stop marker off. Objective marker off. So those are the speed limit hoods. 
apply, and then back. Here we go. So it's extremely fucking dark at the moment. Right, where are the cab lights? Cab lights, where are the cab lights? I'll tell you what I need. I need to put the... <laughs> uh, where are the... What am I looking for? Signal marker, no. Signal, stop marker, objective marker. Speed limiter, hood, signal, hood. Oh, where's that hood unit I wanted? Ah, button prompts. Yes, we want that on. Sorry. That's my bad. Independent brake. We don't want that. Where's the cab light? There it is. Perfect. The cab light. This is half eight in the morning, mind you. Weather's very bad out there at the moment. Let's turn on the ditch lights, the step lights and the gauge lights. There we go, gauge lights are all running. Let's turn, oh, trains all on. Let's set the beam lights to full and let's get those windscreen wipers going. Do I have a, an option for that sun visor? Oh, I know the hotkey, control V. There we go. Right. Let's go outside and take a look at today's weather conditions, shall we? They're gonna be quite special, let me tell you. Yeah, this is going to be rough going, I think. Right. This should be nice. We're not going to be able to see much of anything uh, here at the moment, which is all good. Let's turn the uh, engineer's side cab light on. And let's uh, get in the engineer's seat. And let's get ready uh, for the, uh, the story ahead. Now, that's bright. Set them to medium so I can kind of see something. And let's, uh, let's get up to speed. The speed limit is 45 miles an hour on this track, 6.8 miles to the Garib Main Line number 2. Okay, let's uh, release the independent brake, that's the train brake. And then we've, no, that's not the train brake, that's the locomotive brake. This is the train brake, that is on initial reduction. We'll put the reverser into the forward position. The train is now engaged. Let's pop it into first position. And let's release the train brake. We've got movement. Let's blast the horn twice to let people know that the train is now running. Brilliant. Let's give it, let's give it throttle two. We've got 45 miles an hour to be getting up to here. We'll probably keep it at about 30 miles an hour. That weather is horrendous. I can't see anything out there at the moment. If I kill the cab light, what can I see? Well, I can see a little bit better if I kill the cab light on this side. We'll leave the cab light on that side. We'll leave the window open for now. What's the heater set to? Let's put the heater on uh, high heat. There we go. That should hopefully keep the windows from fogging up. Right then. There we go. Is the game a bit too loud? Let's get it up to... Let's get the ampage up. You can hear the beast of the train behind us. How many units have we got on this train? This is a one, this is a two unit train running just standard stock, it looks like good stock. Right then. High heat, open window, way to save the environment, that's the one. It's good volume, excellent. Let's get that up to four power. Now we're doing brake pressures are good. Amps are high. 690 amps running through the system at the moment, 25 miles an hour. Speed projected up there. Okay, we're gonna get up to speed limit. There's no speed restrictions on the line at the moment, so we're going to get it up to 40 miles an hour. Just went past post 224 there. So we're on section 224 of the line. That's alright. 
go via location Garrett Main number two. So we're going via Garrett, and that's in six miles. That's our radio here. There's push to talk in game, so I'm not entirely sure. I think they're adding multiplayer to this. So cyanide can be like my engineer or something. Right, let's drop it down to throttle two. There we are. Right, and now we just talk shit for a few hours. Let's close the window up here. There we go. Throttle 2 is holding at about a steady 36 miles an hour. That's pretty reasonable in this weather. Okay, brilliant. Nope, oh, I'm about to stand by. We've got a speed limit change to 45 miles an hour and then 50 coming up. We're going down to 35 miles an hour in the next 1.6 miles, so we'll hold around here. Let's get up to throttle speed 3, get a few more amps bleeding into the system. Just get a bit more power on the tap. Lovely. Would I trust Sinai to be in control of a train? I know that he really liked the high-speed mainline uh, from the uh, from the base game, or well, not from the base game, but from the uh, the what's it game. I'm trying to remember. Words escape me. West Coast Main Line, or the um, the Great Western Railway, sorry. He really liked the uh, the high-speed train there that does 125 miles an hour, which uh, looks beautiful, rendered in the uh, CSX, CSX heavy haul engine that they've made, which is nice. So, 400 yards to the signal, let's see if we can spot it. Green on our side. Let's press on then. Speed limit restriction of 35 miles an hour coming up in over a mile, according to the computer, so that's not too bad. And the thing that I don't like about the GP series of train is how restrictive the field of view is. I mean, just look at it. It's like the, the entire sort of left side of the screen is taken up by uh, the independent, like, just by the control panel basically. You've only got this tiny window to look out of. holding it very steadily at 35 miles an hour here, so I think I'll keep us on train power 3 here. For the moment this isn't too bad. We can actually get up. The train's going to run itself for a little while. Let's go out on the front. Let's have a look out here. Beautiful. It's loud as fuck though, holy shit. Running train 2748. Beautiful stretch. It's double track here, quite rare. Should be going back down to single track very soon. Umlauts, thank you very much, mate. No idea why that's not popping up. Let's have a look. Uh, sorry, oh, fuck me. I need to just uh, open the door again. There we go. Doesn't like me going next to the fuse box. Thinks I'm outside. There we go. Let's be careful when stepping near the fuse box. There we go. Thinks that it's louder than I am, okay. We're on a steady gradient, pulling 54 amps, which means we are adding power to the system. 36 miles an hour. We're on a 35 mile an hour speed restriction on this section of line, which isn't too bad. That's probably down to the weather. Green signal in 1.2 miles. But I can keep an eye on the chat with this, so it's nice sort of sit back and, uh, and play the game kind of thing. It's nice. Projected speed is nice and steady. Is the train able to go off the rails? Absolutely. What do I use to stream? I use uh, OBS, that's right. Lovely. Just punching through on the train. Scroll down in chat. How are you doing, Zero? Oh, lots of snow on the side of the line here. Perfect. 
Uh, I want to thank uh, Umlaut for subscribing, um, even though it's not popped up for some reason. Strange that that's not popped up. I wonder if my Streamlabs is working. Let me just test Streamlabs while we're here. I'm tabbed out at the moment. This is great. The game's still running. No break of immersion. It's a solid train through the night here. Should we dim the uh, dim the headlights a little bit? Then? Train lights are on medium. Let's put them up to bright there. Now that we've turned the cab light off, we can see what we're doing. Lovely. Why hasn't this gone through today? See, we've had th that subscription go through. Several follows. Hmm. Why is it being all weird with me today? Come on. Behave yourself. It's, being all, it's all being a bit strange, to be honest. I'm not sure why that's not working. Let me send a fake alert. There we go. Test uh, test bits. Alert sent. Shit ain't on screen, yo. Test bits. No? Test donation? Keep the change, you filthy animal. Well, that works. Maybe this is a test donation for pound. Test donation for pound. There we go. Well, apparently it's working. I don't know. Let's test the subscriptions. Uh, test subscription. Oh, yeah. It seems to be working. I don't know why it's not gotten through. Maybe it just needed a shake, rattle, and roll. I'll leave that open in the other window, just in case. Uh, nope, not a red light. Well, not yet, anyway. It's a fair bit going on here. No. Have a look out the front of the window there. Beautiful. Train through the night. Let's give another blast of the horn, shall we? There it is. Let's give another blast. Sign coming up here, 45 mile an hour speed restriction down the line apparently. No, it looks like we've got it looks like we're on a 10 mile an hour service reduction um, while the snow's down. So we're only running 35 here at the moment. We've got a 1 in 192 hill here. Let's give it a little bit more power. Bring it up to 4. Uh, throttle speed 4. Can you feel the adrenaline rushing through your veins? Yeah. It's fucking nice. I was going to try and open the invite link, but it said it had expired. Oh! Can you not get to the Discord through the current link? Discord invite? I'm, I don't know. I think the Discord link we've got... Have I heard about the game Frostpunk? No, I've not heard about the game Frostpunk. Oh, it's the game lagging out. Sorry. Sorry if we drop any frames. It's, it's my fault. Oh, we're going a bit too fast. Let's drop down to throttle speed three. I don't know what it means. Just noticed it was yellow the moment we passed the previous light. Uh, yellow means well. There's uh, in in the case of these American trains, um, yellow means that the next signal is red. I guess that's what it means here as well in the UK. No, that is what it means here in the UK. But here in the UK, the signals are so close together, especially on like um, like commercial railway lines, passenger railway lines, that um, we have to have double yellow. Uh, we have to have double yellow signals on some of the trains, uh, on some of the railway lines, which means the next signal is yellow, and then that next signal yellow means that the next signal is red. That's how that works. Lovely. So we're currently climbing at the moment, which isn't too bad. Got a long way to go. Frostbunk comes out next year and it will be epic. Oh, let me have a quick look at that then for you. Down here. Frostpunk. Steam store. Uh... I don't think any of the pictures are going to load. It's apparently similar to two games that are similar to Fallout Shelter and Planet Base. Curious. That does look quite nice. Oh wow, that looks beautiful actually. Not sure whether it would be my cup of tea, but that looks really nice. The art looks spot on there. 
Yeah, that looks excellent. Looks like my Prime sub didn't go through. Smith Cloud, it looks to have gone through. Again, strangely, it's not popping up. There might be a problem with uh, Stream Labs at the moment. Uh, what is this game about? Um, it's about driving a train. Um, the stream chat very nicely chose uh, for it to be... Hang on. Two reds and a green. That green one's for us as we're on the outer line. So we're able to get through here. Next signals are green as well. See, the two red signals represent the tracks down here. Like, this siding apparently isn't clear and the switching over to the other track on the left isn't clear, but the top signal was our own line, and that was clear. So this siding here to the right wasn't clear, apparently. Right. We'll just stay on the straight and narrow for now. Driving a train, what else can you do? We've got 0 0.7 miles till we reach our first uh, sort of waypoint, inverted commas, which is Garrod Main Line number 2. 35 mile an hour speed restriction here, we're sort of adhering to the law just about 37 miles an hour. Banking curve here, quite tight. Not too bad here. Three, three track, three lane track isn't, is quite rare actually. Got some lighting over there to the left as well. Looks like we're uh, not too far from civilization. Let's go and have a look. There we go. Green ahead, that's for us. Looks like there's a road here. Some form of major junction out to the left as well, which is nice. Looks like this is the garage switch area. Large junction up ahead, six signals, all red. Only the central line here is clear. Lots of snow building up around the edges there. See, that's it. If we tried to switch line here, then we'd be, uh, we'd be in trouble. But we're gonna stay on the straight and narrow. There you go, objective complete. Now it goes back down to a two-lane track. Got to go through sand patch number one. Still somewhat remote countryside, but it's not too bad. Wouldn't find too many other trains running at this hour. Derail this train, yeah, too soon. Ah, here we are, sunrise. That's right, we, we left off at half eight, didn't we? We're getting a sunrise now. Oh no, we didn't leave off at half eight, we left off at like seven. Maybe we're due to arrive at half eight. Brilliant. Nice part of the countryside we're going to. I was actually very surprised with the graphics of this game, how pretty it is, because it is fucking beautiful. Like, consider if you consider all previous train sim games, they've all looked like shite. Like, this is really good looking for what it is. Definitely really nice. Oh, we've got a whistle here, hang on. Looks like there's some sort of junction coming up or something. Let's blast the horn. Oh, yeah. There it is, Carrie. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah, there's some kind of bridge here or something like that. Ah, uh, yes, road crossing just here. It's not... Not exactly too busy here at the moment, being so late. We'll press on. Lots of power from the locomotive at the moment. Just got to reset the sound, because sometimes it bugs out. There we go. Oh, here's our train. 
beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I, honestly, graphically, this game is superb. I love this game graphically. Absolutely beautiful thing. Sorry, the sound's really good down here. Let me just... Uh, It's bugged out. Why must you remain so loud? Go on. Quieten down, will you? Sit in the secondary engineer's seat. All he has access to is that and the heater. Pop your heater on as well. Why is it so loud? Quiet down. I can't unlock the Da Vinci code. It's just too loud. Oh, beautiful when you're behind it. Really nice. Is this a real world route? Can you pull your location up on the map? Um, I'm going to turn this game down slightly because um, it's absolutely bleeding my ear holes. Oh, we're going to go master volume. We're just going to cut it down to like 75 or near as damn it. That basically did nothing. It should have taken enough of an edge off. Staying on this outside line here. Or the inside line this would be. It seems to be the engines working quite hard behind us. We're in a 1 in 85 hill here, so let's step up the power a little bit. We've got quite a climb on here. Post 216. Quite a few amps bleeding into the system here. We've got a bridge. Got another branch of the railway line down there. Beautiful. One in twenty slope. A few houses as well. God, it must suck having your house that close to a train, like a heavy train line like this. One that just rattles for miles and miles. It is a very pretty game, I'll give it that. if you discount all of the books. There we go. What about we all get a nice cup of hot cocoa and you read a story aloud? I could do that, I could. There we go, just wake all the neighbours up. Must fucking suck having this much noise come blaring through. I've got to do it though. Because of all the level crossings. Can you hit cars? They can, you can if they're on the line. Yeah, the snow on the window could be a little bit better. We've got the sun coming up there, nice sunrise ahead of us. Nice early morning freight run. Let's give it a little bit more power, let's give it a little bit more juice. Get us close to that 35 mile an hour apex. It's slow but I love it, good stuff. It is a slow paced game, I do, I do like it though, there's a certain... There's a certain charm to it. Try Flight Sim next. I could do. Could well do. It's 
doing that thing where it drops the frames. I wonder if it's to do with the amount of frames that it's trying to process. What's my uh, V-Sync? Mm, don't really want V-Sync on. It's more to do with the frame rate. I believe that's the problem. Max FPS. Let's bring that down to 60 for the moment and see whether that improves our lagging problem. It might well. We'll see. Let's see if that fixes the buffering problem. See how many, if we drop any more frames. I think that could be it. Yeah, try DCS World if you have a joystick. Could well. Main line's clear. Perfect. If we turn this cab light back on, we can't see a fucking thing. Like, the reflection in the glass is just too much, so we're going to kill that cab light. That's our lighting for in here. You can also get into all of the fuse panels and stuff like that. It's really cool. We're on a 1 in 99 slope. Not a particularly steep climb, but it's pretty difficult. Go. Oh, level crossing. There we go. Right. Beautiful. The sound is annoying the shit out of me, but that's all right. Still running parallel to this road, which is kind of cool. One in 66, this is quite steep here. Let's hope we keep the traction and we don't hit any red lights. Fair bit of strain on the engine, 500 amps and about holding. It's really struggling to climb, let's give it some more juice. One in 105, that's not too bad. Looks like we're over the little steep bit, but we've got to drag our arse up here. Do you actually need to fix problems sometimes? I think sometimes you do, but they don't happen very often. Oh, we've got a whistle marker. Here we go, we've got a road crossing here. There we go, not too bad. Got a few houses and stuff. I love that people's houses are sort of backed onto the railway line. Oh, looks like we're breaking off to single track here. Oh no, the track isn't quite, isn't, it's not quite single track, it's just broken off over there. Oh fuck me, we are speeding like motherfuckers here. Stand by. We got quite, we got a bit too much speed on. Let's, uh, let's bring it down to idle. Let's just coast for a little bit. Get that speed down. That's alright. Get us back on power too. One in 86, back on power three. Get those amps climbing again. Down to 33 miles an hour. Quite a steep bit. It was throttle power four. Got a lot of power to make up here. Oh, yeah. Commander Breakspear, thank you very much. Choo choo, motherfucker, indeed. We've now switched over to line one, it looks like. We're now on the left-hand side instead of the right. Looks like uh, the line that was to the left of us broke off somewhere. One in 85, the amps are just about in the positive. Let's give us throttle power five. 
let's really get the two units that we've got here working beautiful scenery quite a few lights up ahead merging back onto line one here we're about to go via our next location lights ahead are all green sidings are red which means obviously we've got to stay on the straight and narrow Oh, speed has dropped down to 30 miles an hour. Let's go down to throttle power 2. Let's coast down. We just passed through the yard. Lovely. Next location is Hindman in 13 miles. This is the bulk of it then. I think, we'd think it's downhill to Heidman, I'm not too sure. They've so dropped the speed down to 31 miles an hour here. Keep it on track speed 3. We've got a tunnel. All the windows are closed up, aren't they? Beautiful. Let's go through the tunnel. Oh man, silky smooth 60 FPS through the tunnel. Still buffering. That's annoying. Did we save the settings, did we? Advanced settings. 60 FPS saved. Let me just lock it to 30. It's on 30 for you. Let me make it 30 for me. So that it doesn't have to compress quite as much. See whether that's got anything to do with it. It might just be internet bandwidth. In which case I need to fix it. Drop down to trade speed 2. Predictive speed is still positive, which means it's a steep downhill. Let's, let's drop it down to idle. Note the weight of the train is forcing us down the hill. Let's give it just a dab of air brake. There we go, we're on initial reduction. Train speed is still positive. No, it isn't. It's now in the minus. There we go, slow us down a little bit. There we are. Right. Release the brake. We can just coast down here for the t for the time being. No, to just give it a little bit of juice. Just drop it down to first throttle. Second throttle. We'll just feather it as we go through here. Fairly tricky route. Throttle speed three, let's get some power up. There we go. Keep the amps in a good place. Am I transporting goods or passengers? I'm transporting goods at the moment. 30 mile an hour speed restriction through here. Normally it's 40, but I think because of the snow, they've had to slow down this service. It's currently half past eight in the morning. Got a nice red sunrise. I think we could probably turn off the step lights for now. Uh, which ones are the step lights? Ditch lights, step lights, there we go. Don't need the step lights on for the moment, nobody's getting on or off. Beautiful. What is the smaller um, red digital display before the tachometer? This one? Do you mean that one? Feet in miles per hour is what it says. Miles, miles per hour per minute, apparently. Oh, we're going quite fast now. Let's drop the speed. We've got a very steep downhill gradient. Let's give it a feather of brake. Let's put it on service. Let's get the brake pressure up. There we go, just regulate it. Don't want to slip too hard in the ice. There we go, it's bringing it down. Steep downhill gradient, this. It's all right, it's coming to a reasonable slow here. There we go, we've got the service brake running. So the train's air brakes are now applied to try and slow us down. 
we go, let's release a bit of brake pressure. There we go, we're now released. Speed is still... no, speed is back on the rise. Let's keep it on initial reduction for now. Which is a very light brake pressure, just to counteract the gravity of the hill. Losing a little bit of speed, that's okay. Whole train sort of pushing and pulling and tugging at the moment, it's not too bad. There we go. Release the train brake, there it is. 29 miles an hour. We're holding in about the right spot. We're just coasting down the hill at the moment. We're not even... We're, the, the train's throttle isn't even on. <laughs> when this baby hits 88, you're going to see some serious shit. God damn right. You're going to see some amazing stuff when we hit 88 miles an hour. Speeding up again. Initial reduction. There it is. That gives us just a little bit of brake pressure. So that's the reservoir, and this is the brake pressure. We're at 10 psi here. Just applying ever so lightly some negative train brake pressure. It's getting quite steep up ahead here. Initial reduction's kind of holding us, but we may need to go to the service brake. Again, quite steep here. Normally we'd be doing 45 down here, but because of the snow, as I say, we've been reduced by 10 miles an hour. Service brake, according to the speed indicator, is kind of holding. We're kind of speeding up, kind of slowing down. And the brake is sort of doing its job. 33 miles an hour. A little bit over speed, but not too bad. See if the train brake can't keep us low. Back down to 33. Uh, there is a, an individual locomotive brake, but in a, in a locomotive this wrong, in long, sorry, in a locomotive this long, you're just not going to feel it right. Let's get a little bit of service brake going. There we go. Increase the brake pressure just a little bit more. Now at 20 psi, 19 psi of train brake. Not doing too bad. Speeds. I'm going to cringe very hard when you're playing this. Yes. Yes, you are. There we go. There we go. We're slowing down. Let's take a little bit of pressure off the brakes. There we go. No, don't want it released. Want to stay on initial reduction. Brakes are hissing. A little bit of trouble with the res. Mm. It's not too bad. Let's just flick on our cab light. Red brake cylinder. White is so uh, we're using the brake pipe to slow down here. Let's just step it up to initial reduction. Play Divinity tomorrow, can do Larry, yeah? 10 psi, let's hope that's enough to slow down this cr crazy train. There we go. How was your bomber crew? We've still yet to tie that off, John. Yes, we'll have some more bomber crew soon. Very steep downhill here. Predictive speed is just about in the positive. Let's just give it a dab of service brake. There it is, just over 20 psi. Still in the positive, 1 in 66. There we go, bring her down. Get a speed increase, no, nope. still holding us at 35. There we go, let's drop us back down to 10 psi. No. 
Come on, find your 10 psi. There you go. Brake cylinders doing okay. Reservoir's fine. Red is the main reservoir, and white is some secondary reservoir. Train, train pressure just lost its. Interesting. Just lost train pressure there. Let's keep it on 10 psi there. 1 in 66. We're now down to 30 miles an hour from 35. It's okay. We're slowing her down. We're down to 25 mile an hour speed limit on this section of track. Let's get initial reduction going. Release the brakes and then step it up to initial reduction. There it is. That shouldn't be too bad. It should stop us from moving ahead too quickly. Have a slow bit. Let's blast the horn. Got a crossing here. Definitely out in the sticks. Oh dear. Could use some sand, but we're not quite slipping at the moment. Let's release the train brake entirely here. A little bit of trouble with the brake pipe. Let's keep an eye on that as we go into... Trouble with pressure in the brake pipes. Interesting. Let's get a little bit of... Let's get initial reduction on. It's not too bad. Why do I not use the dynamic brake? Um, just because the train brake does roughly the same job. We're having some trouble with the brake pipes. I wonder if that's to do with the cold. We're going quite fast over speed now. Let's get a little bit of a little bit more pressure in the pipes. Bring us up to 20 psi there. That should be enough to slow us down in this one in 74 hill. Signal's green. pressure off. There it is. It was yellow for a brief second there, but it's not too bad. Had a lot of trouble with brake pressure. Let's use the dynamic brake. Not doing it. Nope, dynamic brakes not enough. We need to stick to the standard air brake. Let's get some initial back on. Almost 10 miles an hour over speed here. Need more engine pressure. I'm having to put quite a lot of turn on the handle to get enough brake pressure to slow it down. We're still speeding up as well. No, we're not. Just bringing it down to earth. Not much I can do with it being so dark at the moment. I'm not sure how to do on-the-fly maintenance. Definitely a lot of fluctuation in that brake pressure, brake pressure pipe. It's 
quite interesting. Getting over speed again. Look how much turn is in the handle here, and we're barely getting any pressure from it. There's a definite loss of pressure from somewhere. Please test. That seems to be working properly. Local control, brake control. Sorry, brake trans control. Auxiliary generator all seems to be working. The warning devices are off. That's okay for now. Curious that all these fuses are having trouble. Might be worth stopping the train soon to have a look at things. Oh, she's really stopping now. Holy shit. Release the train brake. I don't want to stop on this hill. Not in a 1 in 62. Give us some juice. I thought we were going a bit slow then. <laughs> How much of a headache I'm giving Iron. Yeah, I'm giving him quite a bit of a headache. That's all right. I'm a noob. I've never, I've never driven a train. <clears throat> Iron, Iron, you've driven a train before. How do I reset the brakes on a on a GP38? initial reduction. Ah, there we go. Seem to have gained some pressure back. Still gaining speed. Let's give it a bit more. A bit more juice. I need answers, not excuses, Ainz. <laughs> really struggling to maintain sort of equilibrium on the train brake. Let's try and use the locomotive brake. Same problem, barely doing anything. Independent train brake, barely touching the speed. Okay, train brake ain't gonna happen. We gotta use the independent, we gotta use the full train brake to get down this slope. Seven miles to Heinemann. So, right, I'm losing pressure when on initial reduction. You can see it leaking out. You can see the needle ticking back to zero there. It's like I'm bleeding air pressure from somewhere. Maintaining a decent speed there. Just stick a leg out. <laughs> Sort of holding around five psi, uh, less than that, four. It's not too bad. It's putting enough reduction on the uh, on the train to slow me down. Hopefully, get our speed increased soon. Ah, yes, we're getting back up to 35 miles an hour in 200 yards. Get some speed up. Hindman is in 6.9 miles then it's not far to the yard. Thirty-five miles an hour. We've got to wait for the ass of the train to cast to cross the thirty-five miles an hour mark. Although it only looks like we're being stepped up to thirty there instead of thirty-five, but I'll take it. It's five miles an hour. That'll do. Train brakes hovering at around 2 psi.
Getting a fair bit of speed up, gotta blast the horn. Bit more pressure on the brake. some of that brake pressure off. We're up to 30 miles an hour. It's good, I can give it a little bit of gas. Being rejoined by a siding of some sort there. Still on the downward slope. Predictive speed is increasing, 23, 24. 24, 25, 26, okay. Getting a bit of speed up, that's not too bad. Nearly in Hindman. 6.4 miles. With our speed upgrade. Let's drop it back down to idle. Take a look at that sunrise. Oh yes, beautiful. We'll be in Hindman for breakfast, I think. And let me just iterate uh, while I keep an eye on the, uh, the train brake here. There we go. This uh, is an extremely long train, can I just say. Like, it's an extremely long train. Ah, it looks like we've got mixed freight. That's not too bad. Like, this, this train just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going back. This is what I'm on about with American freight trains. They're just fucking ridiculous. I'm keeping an eye on my speed, don't worry. Like, honestly, like, they just keep going. Is this the back? Is this the back? Oh, that's not too bad. But this is still an enormous train for what it's worth. We've only got two GP28s pulling it, so it's not too bad. Okay. If air brakes, if you're using the air brakes a lot, then you need to take them off to build up pressure again. The more you use them, the more pressure you will use. Take them off and let it build up again. That air pressure doesn't want to build up, that's right. It's not too bad. Gaining a little bit of speed now. Let's give it a feather of the old air brake. 10 psi, initial reduction. It's not too bad. Got plenty in the reservoir. Just kicked up to 18 there. Let's take a bit of pressure out. Work with me, train. Woo! Give it a bit of juice. Don't want to stop here. Woo! Fuck me, the air brake just went mad then. Fuck me, it just bled the system for a second. Stand by, we'll let the system idle. Don't hate me, Iron. Three. Air brakes released. Got some weird ass rear warning lights. Oh my god, they're fucking idlers in reverse. How did that happen? When did I put the idler in reverse? Okay, let's try forward then. Are you going to give me forward gain? Both brakes are in the release format. Let's really step up the amps. She's died on me. This is interesting. Right. Let's put this... Oh no, she's, she was just going then. She just tried to move. She back? She's back. It took a few minutes, took a few seconds there for the engine to bleed. Go on, get some amps. Feed the engine some power. Come on. It's 
still at zero amps. I've got no power feeding to the engine. This is all just rolling. The reverse is in the forward position. I'm not. I'm not doing this. There's no power going to the engine. The amps are down to zero. Amps are at dead nothing. Maybe we can just coast into the yard, I doubt it. Did you play with the breakers behind you? I've not played with the breakers. Have any of the breakers tripped? Not that I can see. Let's trip the warning breaker. Put the idler back to the neutral position. I'm not getting anything from the engine. Power's not getting forward. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. Changed. Generator field is on. Fuel control pump. All of this seems to be working fine. Fuses. Got access to no other fuse boxes here. These isolators are all right. We're, we are literally. A runaway train. <laughs> well, well, we're not quite runaway yet. I've still got the brakes at least. I've just got no power. Quickly, somebody Google how to get the power back on. Right. Need some brakes. Slow us down before we do become a runaway train. At least the air pressure's working, I've got that. I've just got no power. Or I have power, it's just not getting to the drive. Give it a push. That's the advice I got, give it a push. Maybe I need to like prime the engine or something. Nothing, have I got anything? That just looks like a 2D display, that doesn't look like it has anything helpful on it. Close the damn door! Oh, didn't like that. What are you telling me off about? Ah, uh, get me in! I can't get back in the cab! Oh, come on train simulator! Hang on. What the fuck's just happened? Did we just fail an AWS check? Emergency train brakes just come on. Just had a critical warning, trains just come to a stop. Train brakes have just blown. It. But the train brake just blew. Just had an emergency warning. What was this? I'm not sure what warning just went off. Or how to reset it. None of the circuits have tripped. Well, the fuses are working fine. Trains just died. 
at least the brakes on. How do we get it running again? Right, valve, sand. AWS reset, was it the AWS? Oh, the brakes have just fired. How do I get this bitch running again? Anything to do with the other locomotive? I don't think so. The other locomotive's fine, I think. What's this one showing? This one's showing the same problem. I wonder if I can drive her from back here. This is going to be an interesting take on this railway journey, let me tell you. Right. Set the idler to reverse. Independent brake released. Release the primary brake. Reservoir and emergency brake are still both on. The emergency brake is still running. So he's still... Oh, fuck me. I just land it on the emergency brake straight away. Full service. This one can't offer me anything. Next signal is a red signal, though, that's because we're in the reverse reverse position. There we go. Put it in neutral. Turn off the cab light. Nothing I can do from in there. Got to be something I can do here. Right, let's power the engine off. Let's just try and restart it. It's now just in like a secondary run. Governor's not doing anything. We have like a master fuse panel that I can use. There's no like master switch. Emergency fuel cut off, engine stop. Right, so engine stop. So we just turn the engine off properly. Right, so. Let's try and get a cold start. Prime it. And start it. Prime it. Come on, you motherfucker. Take. Don't start on me. No, nothing from the governor. Prime, go. It's like we're having some trouble up front. We'll get this bastard going. Kill the windscreen wipers for now, that sound is doing my head in. Right. Engine run, field generator, and the fuel and control pumps. So all the electrics for that are now running. All primary circuit boards are on. Warning devices will turn off. Ah! Warning devices just released the train brake.
Are we moving? Oh, she's trying to move. Right, we need to get this engine oh, started. Oh, yeah. Mark, thank you very much, mate. Prime, 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 prime. Come on. And go. Oh, she's starting to move. Right, come on. Need to get this bitch started. I don't think it was the AWS. I'm going to prime it for a little bit longer. Start. Get the engine started. Shit. Come on. Just prime it. Is the PCS light in front of it lit? The fuel pump is on. Oh, yeah. Pip. I'm going to call you, because that's a fucking ridiculous name. I'm going to call you P-Tip. Thanks very much, mate. Shit. Main breaker's on. Auxiliary generator. Eat cab. Why did I ever turn the engine off? Is there anything that I can do in here? Engine room lights on. Platform lights don't need to worry about. Headlight. Single engine. That's the headlight control. Tests are all on. That's all for the numbers. Hot engine is off as far as I can tell. Fuck me, we're really moving now. Right, start the wipers. Do I still have, like, brake pressure? Okay. I can at least stop us. Okay. I'm going to apply the service brake until... I'm going to go to full service. Until I know how to get the engine started. Lovely. Right. Now my problem is that I can't get the engine started. All the pumps are running, as far as I know. Turn off the windscreen wipers, because again, they're doing my nutting. Right. All of these things are running. All the pumps are on. Control and fuel pump on. Generator field on. Engine on. The game never taught me to mess around with circuits. I don't know whether there's something I need to con re need to reset in any of these breaker panels. Engine room lights, class lights are just permanently on. What's this? Does this do anything? No. Main breaker. All the tests seem to be on. Just reset the fuel pump. S fuel pump breaker. What have we got here? Auxiliary generators all on. Generator field on. Warning devices, electronic devices. These are all in the on position. Don't worry about me. I'm figuring it out. Five miles outside Hindman. I can't get the fucking train running. The reverse is in forward. I put the reverser up here. It's that the train isn't running. Literally the train isn't running. I'm just going to prime it for a few more. Like, I'm just going to hold the primer for like ages and then just let it go. What is this? Oil pressure. Seems to be stable. I can't get the engine to take. I don't think any of these other panels open. I think it's just that one. No. 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 Okay. So it's just that rear panel there that opens. 
Can you offer any advice? Could you be of some help? Oh, she's gone. She's out of here. Right. Um, she, she's walking back. Fuse? Probably need that. Well, both those fuses are working, supposedly. Do not open bat switch for at least 35 minutes following engine load operation. How do we get this bastard running? Change any of these. Start, stop, isolate. Start, stop, isolate. Sounds interesting. It's a different sound. It lives. It tried to live. It tried to live. Come on. Is that it? Change it to run. Sit down. Let's put the reverser into neutral. Do I have any amps? I'm not sure. Let's put the reverser into forward. I know I've trained power again, but I'm now back to square one. Yes, I have amps! Fuck yeah, let's go! Yes! Let's fucking go! We're a little bit we're a little bit behind schedule, but she's running. Fucking best mechanic. <laughs> yes, we got the power back. Fucking brilliant. Fuck me, we gotta make up for lost time. The, the sun's literally come out in the time it took us to get that running. Perfect. A little bit of the old air pressure on. Keep it on high heat, it's minus nine. Perfect. I cannot believe we got that running. I'm so happy. Mate, that was some proper troubleshooting there. It finally took. Did you turn off the field generator in the fuse cupboard? I don't think I did. I think everything's okay. The only thing I turned off was warning devices. Which I'm going to leave off from now on. Bit late on the old horn there, that's alright though. Rest of the line ahead of us should be nice and clear now. 4.3 miles to Heinemann. Lovely. Kill the light back on there. Making good time. We need a little bit more air pressure. Let's 
give it a little bit of power while we got the brakes on. See whether I can use that to counter the fact that I'm being crap. Nope, we'll just release the brake, drop the speed, and then we'll coast back up to the speed we need and try and get a decent air brake going. Uh, how did I repair it? Um, I, I don't know, I'm just amazing, to be honest. Who needs security features anyway? Yeah, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep that one closed for now. 3.8 miles to Heim. God, I'm so happy. A little bit of air brake. Not too much. 1 in 67. Let's go for a bit more air brake. It's pretty good. I can't believe we got it running. I'm so happy. I, I'm going to put the. I'm going to put the fucking thing back up. I'm going to put up my fucking. I'm so happy, I'm going to give myself an extra 30 FPS. Look at that. That's how happy I am. Beautiful. You can't see that, because it's limited to 30. <laughs> Iron... Sorry, James just told me. Iron face palms so many times that I honestly don't know how he doesn't have a handprint on his face by now. <laughs> I don't know! I don't know how to... I don't know how to drive a train, Iron. You can't hate. I built the new Lego Falcon and then had to move it. Now it's fucking wrecked and I'm gonna, it's going to take like eight times longer. Oh, dude. Sorry, man. Dude, I'm so happy we got this train running. You realise there's a handbook into this game. You can get it on the Steam page that tells you step by step what to do. Yeah, but ingenuity. It's all about the ingenuity. Oh, it looks like we're merging with another line down here. Or is this a road? I think that's a road. Yeah, that's definitely a road. We're on our way to Heinemann. Oh, I can't believe it. Pure luck. There's no such thing as pure luck in this train. Only ingenuity. <laughs> I, th I would say flipping every switch is, in is ingenuity, in its own way. Ingenuity leads to train crashes. RNG. I know nothing of the sort. I did a good job. Like I say, we're a little bit late into Heinemann, 2.4 miles, but it's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse. What time was I supposed to be there? I was supposed to be pulling in, I'm supposed to be in the yard at um, Cumberland um, at 8.30. Uh, as it stands, there's 15 minutes. <laughs> Iron is sitting here say, silently shaking his head at you in shame. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel I did well, Iron. I think I did well. I want to see you manage a goddamn spaceship down to the detail. You'd probably end up on the edge of the galaxy or in a sun. I feel I'm getting a hard time for my amazing, in you know, 
in transit train repair. For a brief moment, we were a runaway train. Well, we weren't quite <laughs> a runaway train. Oh, come on. Give me some credit, guys. Jeez. We managed to fucking... We managed to... We were trying to fix the problem with the air brake, and then we made it worse, and then, then we fixed the problem. That's what it takes to fix your own mistakes. Even... Exactly. Even better. We. Yes, we. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, it's fine. I did. See, Fear Holiday gets it. <laughs> oh, yes. One point nine miles to Heinemann. I didn't just run a red, no, we're all right. It wasn't dumb luck. <laughs> you want a cookie or something? I oh, might. I'll have a fucking cookie. Murder a cookie. I think we did really well. How late are you? Um, like I say, I'm meant to be in the yard at Cumberland in uh, in 12 minutes, give or take. 12, 15 minutes. I'm currently 1.8 miles from Hindman, which is the stop before Cumberland. I'm now getting a lecture because of my incompetence. Please, for my sake, get good. Look, I am. I'll teach, look. You may know how to operate your your, your light railway trains or whatever it was you drove, but leave the GP28 or the GP38 to the professionals here. The people that know what they're doing, the people that know to change the, uh, hang on, the, uh, the, uh, isolate, the, the start, stop, isolate switch, uh, that's clearly how you do it. There we go. going to slap you. <laughs> Why is my window open, window oh, open to the Canadian yeah. weather? Georgian, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the GP38 Drivers Club. You too can be nearly as good as Joe the Mechanic, Joe the Engineer. Odds of Q crashing into Heinemann, not too high. Again, the siding at um, Cumberland is where we're trying to get to. Oh shit, 50 miles an hour, fuck me. Got to get into a high speed part of the line here. Let's go blasting through Heinemann. 50 miles an hour in the snow, are they mad? Mistakes were made. <laughs> It's another 1.1 miles before I'm able to... I've got to wait for the speed limiter to increase. I've got to wait for the arse end of the train to get past that marker. Fucking ready. Get ready. Can release all the brakes and really get a flight on. Run over a moose. Oh, there we go. I didn't bid my horn. It's fine. There's nobody at the crossing. No one. No one would have died. Oh, there's another train. Fuck me. That's the last thing I expected to see. We're that late. That's a, an intermodal, that is. With all of its railway cars. That's cool. Didn't expect to see another train. That's one of the heavy haulers as well. This will be a long train.
Look, this guy next to me is clearly doing 50 miles an hour. Clearly. So I think we should do 50 miles an hour. Right. Let's fucking speed up. Let's release and let's go to power two. Look, iron. We'll go to 45, all right? If that, if that makes you more comfortable, we'll go to 45. Fifty six forty six so forty six point five or bust. But well, I've gotta make good tight iron. I'm gonna to stick to the speed look, this is the speed limit they've advised, alright? It's fifty miles an hour on this piece of track in the snow. I'm going for it. You shouldn't have called yourself an engineer, he's been triggered. Oh no. Look, chat. All you have to can you do me a favour? Chat, do me a solid. Tell iron. 50 miles an hour is the way to go. Let's close the one window. Look, we're trying to make up for lost time. That's all we're trying to do here. We're not being reckless. We're just trying to make up for lost time. And that's all we're doing. It's fine. I'm surprised he's not sitting in the channel shouting at you himself. <laughs> Oh yeah, the window is freaking out, isn't it? Why is the window freaking out? Stop freaking out, window. Oh no, I'm leaving it open now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's trippy. Fuck me, this tree's a bit close. Jesus. Hey, let's go out and have a look. Let's do what all train drivers do. Get out on the front. Look at us go. Mate, we are tanking it towards... Uh, oh, no, we're not. We're going towards Ella... Ellisley? Ellisley? Ellisley. But we're going there at a hell of a speed. It's good. We're making good time. We're on the fast track now. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. You can see all the trains moving. Ah, oh, perfect. Mate, we are tanking along. Excellent. Almost feels like we're going slightly too fast. I believe we may be exceeding the speed limit. No, nope, we're bang on the dot. This is professional train driving right here. Can you jump off? No, I'm afraid not. Not that I'd want to either. Next one's a green for us. Press it, keep going. Oh yeah, we're making good time here. 51 miles an hour. We're sort of, you know, playing with the, the rules of it a little bit, but I wouldn't worry too much. That's it. Quite late coming through here, as I say. Give it a bit more independent break. Can I close this window yet? 
new. The post processing is breaking through. It's to do with the lighting. Where do I find a noise complaint? It's fucking 8.30 in the, 8 in the morning, you're blasting your horn. I have to blast my horn for the crossings. They're making good time. I like it. It's good. Doing well. Get in there and sort. No, honestly, Iron, don't worry. I got this. Leave the professional to do his job. That's 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 what I said. New chair coming in. Yes, I'm sitting on the new chair. Quality stuff. Really good back support. Mate, we are tanking along. Unmute your headphones on Discord. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm staying in my own little GP38 Masters bubble. That's where I'm staying. There we go, another whistle. Turn off the heating and save fuel. I don't think it's about saving fuel at this point. I, I am a, I'm, I'm a fucking chicken. I don't want to know what kind of wrath I've stirred up. Lovely. I can't believe we got this train working again. I'm so happy we got the train working again. 5.6 miles from Ellerslie. Ellerslie. Uh, is it Lee or Lie? Because that's L I E, which is Lie. But I guess it's Lee. Ellerslie. Look at this. Banking circuit. Banking track, because we're fucking hauling ass. Fucking half the speed of sound. They're extremely, not too long, but in our decent length. Oh god. The snow beyond the inside now. Fuck me. Okay. We're just going to leave that window to freak out, I think. Why do I hear Iron ranting at you? <laughs> Any co op games you would recommend? Yes. Getting shot. <laughs> What's this? Go, oh, come on, Q. Getting shouted at by someone with a Scottish accent is hilarious. Look, Iron. I didn't know you were Scottish. All right. Do it. Unmute your headphones. Jeez, why is everyone so, everyone's so hell bent? an emergency brake? I didn't even think about that. That's the cutout valve. Do not tamper with brake valve settings. <laughs> Good advice. Good advice. I don't, don't know whether I have an emergency train brake. I know my engineer has one, but I don't think I do. I think I've just got to slam this lever to the full position. Look, you. I haven't. Look, I haven't set up my volume. You won't be able to hear iron over the train. <laughs> Co-pilot keeps looking like what the fuck is wrong. She's definitely, she's definitely got a bit of a frown on there, a bit of a pout. 
yeah, she's she's not happy with me. Say, yeah. Quebec, have I missed much? Ah, oh, what a what what a what a thing you've missed. We got a GP thirty eight running. Beautiful, honestly. <laughs> How long is our train? Quite long. It's like it's quite long. I hope that's all the information you need. It's quite long. It's like my driver's exam. Yeah, I suppose it is. In its own way. Three miles, Taylorsley. We should have been at the yard by now. But because of my little, um, the en no, <clears throat> the engine malfunction um, that we fixed on the route, um, yeah, we're we're now we're now flying ahead schedule. In fact, I'm going to release the. Uh, I'm going to give it some give it some beans here on the flat. We're now not on a gradient or on a, such an insignificant gradient. It doesn't matter. Oh shit, we need to slow down. <laughs> In fact, no, fuck it, we're alright. Look, it's fucking, it's a thousand yards to the next speed limit, we'll be fine. Look, we're trying to save time here, just don't tell, don't tell anyone. It'll be our little secret. The speed goes back up to 60 and 800 yards, just don't tell anyone. Be all right. It's banking track. We'll be fine. As soon as we get round this corner, it'll be okay. Some might call this irresponsibility. The train is bucking quite a bit. They wanted me to slow down for this corner. Oh, it's fine. Oh shit. We should start slowing down though. It's 25 miles an hour in in less than a mile. Right. Let's get a bit of a let's let's kill the power. Let's get a little bit of train brake on. There we go. See, look, we're back in speed. Oh no, we're no longer back in speed. Oh no, there we are. We're now back in speed. See? All's fine. We've got to slow down to a reasonable 25 miles an hour in the next 800 yards as we come through the town. Or Ellerslie. You see? All's well. There we go. Just need a quick burst of amps there from the train. Well, still quite a fair bit of blizzarding going on. A little bit of wheel slip, not too bad. Coming in at the advertised speed. We're doing well, we're doing well. Come on, dude, unmute your mic. What do you mean? We need Iron's commentary. 
Okay. Nope. Not the button I wanted. Where is it? Okay. Well, I've unmuted my mic, but it's uh, it's just me in here. I wouldn't worry too much about it. There we go. Oh, we're speeding again. Oh, shit. Objective complete. We shouldn't be going this past fast through here, but that's fine. Ah, here we go. Stop at location in three miles. Crew change point. That's all right. I believe that will bring our journey to a close here. Oh, hello. Who's this? It's fucking... It's... Hello. Hello. You right? Uh. Yes, you sound fine. I'm fine too. What? What? What's the problem, mine? Tell, tell everyone. Uh. There's too many to list. There's not... I, I, I think... Look, together, we did a fantastic job. Um, I, I guess. Mm. Beautifully done, honestly. I mean, we got. I don't want. I don't want to sound like a glory hole, but I got GP thirty eight running. We were fully stopped. Went back there, had a play with a few switches and dials, and here we are, barreling towards the crew change point, twenty five miles an hour. Oh, and what more do you want? It's a good thing he's not a, it's a game, isn't it? <laughs> if Look, you had stop if you'd stopped a freight train, freight train in the middle of nowhere, it would have been radioed very quickly. Yeah, I, I just then you get on the radio and you explain. Yeah, slight technical malfunction, it's alright. Then you'd get back underway. And maybe there'd be a you know, some kind of review or investigation into it, but you know. Only 2.2 .2 miles from the crew change point. ones are yellow. Let's prepare for that. Proceed with Porsche. That's the one. I don't like the layout of the American engines. You don't like them? I don't. I don't think it lies. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about the GP38 is that the entire left eye is covered by just great big dirty control panels. Like it's, it feels so restricting just staring through this tiny window. Right, we're running on yellows here. Let's get initial. Let's bounce that off to nothing. Let's get the initial reduction on. Next one's a yellow. We'll just keep it slow. We're going down to 15 miles an hour. Okay. As we pull into the yard. Still, so, if you think that window's restricted, you should try an old steam train. Yeah, to be fair. Now, here we go. Another train waiting to pull out of the yard. I probably have kept this guy here with my escapades on the slope and it before Heinemann. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, 
any reason why this is trying to stop here. Come on, bite your bastard. Let's get a bit of sand. There you go. Find your biting point. Below your RPM too much in the engine can tend to try and pull itself back. There we go, we got the amps up. It's gonna take, looks like we've got another mixed goods train coming through. It's good. This is this is your this is this is the speed you would recommend me to come through the yard at anyway. As as Captain Cautious. Wait for your nose. This train has probably been waiting here for me to pull in for like ages. Oh, poor, poor guy. Pulling right into the yard here. This is Cumberland Yard. I know this from the tutorial. Point three miles to the crew change. Getting maybe a little bit too much speed. Just give it a dab of the independent brake. Right, let's go. Let's go twenty percent, twenty three percent independent. Slow down a little bit. We've got banking track in the yard. Clearly, I'm meant to be doing 40 through here. Blizzard's pretty bad down here in the sort of the lowlands on this side. Go on, let's give it just a bit more independent. One mile to the crew change. Oh, another train coming past. Another one waiting for my fat ass to get out of the yard. That one's probably going to was probably about to be running to schedule if it wasn't for me. Oh well. It's another good that's just a good train that is. Crew change in 0 0.8 miles. <laughs> the driver is flipping me off. I'm gonna, I'll back up then. I'm going to back this baby up. <laughs> Go after him. Well, we're on the flat now, which means we shouldn't gain too much speed. Should just be able to coast in with the brake off. 0 0.7 to the crew change. Coming up on 1,000 yards. So we're just rolling into the back of Cumberland Yard.
Oh yeah. I dam I damler. Idam Idamler <laughs> words. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over aboard the GP thirty eight appreciation club. <laughs> I wanna know how much <laughs> how much of the brake pad I just just, just annihilated. But that's uh, probably not too much. It's quite a slow roll into the yard here, only doing 15 miles an hour. Not much pressure on the brake, 30%. The pads are fine, surely. You'd be surprised. 900 yards, uh, 850 yards. Oh, probably. yeah. Brad Pitiful, that about sums up this train journey. Thank you very much, mate. Ruling on in. Perfect. True change in 700 yards. This is like the last stretch. We're rolling very far into the yard here. Very far into the yard. Running on yellows as well. You'll always have a yellow in, in yards. Yeah. Pulling an all-nighter, your voice is helping. Thanks very much, Dan. Mr. Dan Lair. Now to accelerate to 100 miles an hour at the last minute. Yes. No, no, we're not, we're not going to quite. Oh, we got a red in 1.6, but we're stopping in 500 yards, so that's fine. I think I'd have a heart attack if you did that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're on the flat, I'd recommend using your dynamic brake. Uh, Dynamic tends to just hold it back instead of braking fully. We'll be alright. I'm just going to coast in and then just apply the apply the air brake. I think. Oh, I see that one controls that brake. Okay, good to know. Twelve miles an hour, two hundred yards to stop. These windscreen wipers almost sound like a steam train. It's really fucking with me. What steam train have you been listening to? It, so it sounds like a. It, do, it. Come on, stream. Tell me it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It does. Absolutely does. I should probably think about stopping. I don't want to say perfect. How are you? That was pretty damn good. We've stopped at the crew change point. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go, sorry. I had the wrong brake applied, inverted commas. Right, there we go. Not too bad. Fuck me, look at the points. Try and hold me back. There we go. Fucking hell. Jesus. 46 mile run. Took us an hour and 43 minutes. Got ourselves level 5 mm -hmm. in sand patch grade. Mm -hmm. And we got ourselves 1300 experience in the GP38. Perfect. We leveled up as well. Fucking gripping stuff. Right. Not too bad, we've completed the service from Rockwood to Cumberland, Yard West. Brilliant. What now? Please exit the vehicle. A light here. Okay. I guess I'll just leave it in full service and just get off. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it just started rolling off then. Shit. Where's it going? Did I do that? Come back! <laughs> is this me? Why is it fucking accelerating to fucking god knows? How fast are you going? 
Is it going? Holy fucking shit, it is screaming off into the yard. It's probably the other crowd. Oh my fucking god, it's just dumped me here. Fuck me, that's that there's no way that's 15 miles an hour. Can I get on this one? Oh yeah, boy. I'm on the new train. Is there anyone in this one? They've just fucked off with my train. I'm, ah, that could be it. I might have left it in drive, but applied the brake. <laughs> I'm almost curious. Right there. Map. So this train is fucking off down this line at a hell of a speed. And it's merging there. Oh, I can't control. Oh, God, it's going to fucking slam it. Okay. Well, rip train. That's fucked off into the snow. Lovely. Train decided to fuck off because it hated my driving. Who can blame it? Right then, quit to the main menu. We got our points, we got our XP. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. It's fucking thrilling. I'm going to bed. <laughs> that was quality, that was. Iron, thanks very much. Know you enjoyed it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It was an experience. Yeah, fucking best experience. Really fucking good. I'm going to have to show you how to drive a real one now. Yeah, that's it. Cool, right. I'm gonna just mute myself briefly. I'm gonna bugger off. There we go. Perfect, right. Thank you very much for watching uh, this train. 300 people! 300 people! We fucking. We. Oh, what a roller coaster. We started off well, the blizzard was tough, we were managing the downhill slope, and then suddenly, engine. Uh, well, I, I, I create engine trouble. Then I fix it, then we're back on the road and we're making up for lost time. We blast in through a 25 miles an hour zone at 40 miles an hour, absolutely screaming through. And then fucking, then where do we go? We get into the yard, they drop us off, but we leave the train in drive and it fucks off down the yard towards a, a red signal. Whoops, I guess. So yeah, thank you very much for watching that. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm now going to pass you on to uh, Jive Turkey, who's playing Farming Simulator 20. So from one simulator game to another, um, do go and give him some uh, some of some love, and uh, and see what's uh, and see what's happening. So yeah, thanks very much, and I shall see you all um, later. Take care now, and bye bye. Yeah, just let me know when you're ready to unload that thing. Pipe out. Pipe out, look out. Wrap that thing. There we go. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah.
Man, you're doing much better than I do. Fill me up. There we go. Thank you, Sailor. Diner. Oh yeah. Seems like we have roast turkey a lot. I think you're trying to tell me something. Something a little messy, maybe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I just found a turkey at the lumber mill, so I just shot him with a shotgun I had kept on the back of the truck. Uh, Long Live Quebec says, I've watched Drive Turkey's tutorials on how to play this game. I gave probably the worst tutorial in the history of gaming tutorials for this game. So I have, I to, this cold water. I have to apologize for you for if you watch that. That was bad. Yeah, but, but not the farming sim. No, no. What are we doing here? Okay. Up one more street. Nice. Well, the cold ones is ones where uh, I'm off the ridge. I was he flying over the ridge again doing barrel rolls? Showing off? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get my forks under him. <laughs> the fail is a bully. Smucker said you did a farming sim tutorial. I did, yeah. I did. Uh, it's uh it's on YouTube. And it's really bad. Oh my god, the place is a mess. No synergy, it's clean it up. Alright, stand by for payday. Coming back to the farm. Give him that twenty thousand dollars. Nice. Oh, Jack, we're out of 122 viewers already. Holy shit. Yeah, we got raided by. Uh, yeah, we got raided by uh, those two guys. It was Long Live Quebec, followed by Digby Tatardom Warder. <laughs> Digby Tatham Warder. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna step over a minute and go grab a snack from the freezer. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to get a um. Let's get Rumble out there bailing up that hay when he gets back. Or I don't know. He seems to enjoy chopping down the trees, even though that's pretty time consuming. That's great. Uh, filler. Uh, that's why I like to get in here and uh, get between uh, crops. I'm gonna buy the another trailer to uh, pick up the bay hails again after we start making some. Look at this 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 crop here is almost ready to harvest too. Huh? 
ah, swinging the <laughs> swinging the trailer all around. Now let's drop this trailer off and we get the hay baler out. Hey squid. Oh, really need a chicken. Squid, let me know when we get close and I'll bring the trailer back out, okay? Oops. Fifty percent copy. I'm gonna make hay bales in the meantime. There we go. Hook this bad boy up. Let's go. Turn on some lights and sirens. Pull over. All right, so here we go. We got this right here. We're going to go with, um, back it up. Turn it on. Bail it out. Driving this time is time for a bigger head bailer. So that thing is still at least bailer. Yeah, we don't have any money though.
6.4 miles with our speed upgrade. Power's not getting forward. Now this is an interesting turn of events. What's changed? Generator field is on, fuel control pump. All of this seems to be working fine. Fuses. Got access to no other fuse boxes here. These isolators are alright. We are literally a runaway train. <laughs> Well, well, we're not quite run away yet. I've still got the brakes at least, I've just got no power. Quickly, somebody Google how to get the power back on. Right, need some brakes. Slow us down before we do become a runaway train. At least the air pressure's working, I've got that. I've just got no power. Or I have power, it's just not getting to the drive. Give it a push. That's the advice I got, give it a push. Maybe I need to like prime the engine or something. Nothing, have I got anything? That just looks like a 2D display, that doesn't look like it has anything helpful on it. Close the damn door! Oh, didn't like that. What are you telling me off about? Ah, uh, get me in! I can't get back in the cab! Oh, come on, train simulator! Hang on. What the fuck's just happened? Did we just fail an AWS check? Emergency train brakes just come on. Just had a critical warning, trains just come to a stop. Train brakes have just blown. Shit. The train brake just blew. Just had an emergency warning. What was this? I'm not sure what warning just went off. Or how to reset it. None of the circuits have tripped. But the fuses are working fine. Trains just died. At least the brakes on. How do we get it running again? Brake valve, sand. AWS reset, was it the AWS? Oh, the brakes have just fired. How do I get this bitch running again? Anything to do with the other locomotive? I don't think so. The other locomotive's fine, I think. And oh, the 
brakes have just fired. Oh, the brakes. Oh, the brakes have just fired. Right valve, sand. AWS reset, was it the AWS? How do we get it running again? Right valve, sand. AWS reset, was it the AWS? Oh, the brakes have just fired. Reservoir and emergency brake are still both on. The emergency brake's still running. So he's still, oh, fuck me. I just land it on the emergency brake straight away. Full service. This one can't offer me anything. Next signal is a red signal, though, that's because we're in the reverse reverse position. There we go. Put it in neutral. Turn off the cab light. Nothing I can do from in there. Got to be something I can do here. Right, let's power the engine off. Let's just try and restart it. It's now just in like a secondary run. Governor's not doing anything. Do we have like a master fuse panel that I can use? There's no like master switch. Emergency fuel cut off, engine stop. Right, so engine stop. We just turn the engine off properly. Right, so. Try and get a cold start. Prime it. Start it. Prime it. Come on, you motherfucker. Take. Go ahead and start up, man. No, nothing from the governor. Prime, go. It's like we're having some trouble up front. We'll get this bastard going. Kill the windscreen wipers for now, that sound is doing my head in. Right. Engine run. Field generator and the fuel and control pumps. So all the electrics for that are now running. All primary circuit boards are on. Warning devices will turn off. Ah! Warning devices just released the train brake. Are we moving? Oh, she's trying to move. Right, we need to get this engine oh, started. Oh, yeah. Mark, thank you very much, mate.
prime, 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 prime. Come on. And go. Oh, she's starting to move. Right. Come on. Need to get this bitch started. I don't think it was the AWS. I'm going to prime it for a little bit longer. Start. <laughs> Can't get the engine started. Shit. Come on. Just prime it. Is the PCS light in front of it lit? The fuel pump is on. Oh, yeah. Pip. I'm going to call you... Because that's a fucking ridiculous name. I'm going to call you P-Tip. Thanks very much, mate. Shit. Main brake is on. Auxiliary generator. Eat cab. Why did I ever turn the engine off? Is there anything that I can do in here? Engine room lights on. Platform lights don't need to worry about. Headlight. Single engine, that's the headlight control. Tests are all on. That's all for the numbers. Hot engine is off as far as I can tell. Fuck me, we're really moving now. Right, start the wipers. Do I still have, like, brake pressure? Okay. I can at least stop us. Okay. I'm going to apply the service brake until... I'm going to go to full service. Until I know how to get the engine started. Now my problem is that I can't get the engine started. All the pumps are running as far as I know. Turn off the windscreen wipers, because again they're doing my nutting. Right. All of these things are running. All the pumps are on. Control and fuel pump on. Generator field on. Engine on. The game never taught me to mess around with circuits. I don't know whether there's something I need to con re need to reset in any of these breaker panels. Engine room lights, class lights are just permanently on. What's this? Does this do anything? No. Main breaker. All the tests seem to be on. Just reset the fuel pump. S fuel pump breaker. What have we got here? Auxiliary generators all on. Generator field on. Warning devices, electronic devices. These are all in the on position. Don't worry about me. I'm figuring it out. Five miles outside Heinemann. I can't get the fucking train running. The reverse is in forward. I put the reverser up here. It's that the train isn't running. Literally, the train isn't running. I'm just going to prime it for a few more. Like, I'm just going to hold the primer for like ages and then just let it go. What is this? Oil pressure. Seems to be stable. I can't get the engine to take. I don't think any of these other panels open. I think it's just that one. No, 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 okay. So it's just that rear panel there that opens. Can you offer any advice? Could you be of some help? Oh, she's gone. She's out of here. Right, um, she, she's walking back. Fuse? Probably need that. I 
well both those fuses are working supposedly do not open bat switch for at least 35 minutes following engine load operation how do we get this bastard running change any of these start stop isolate start stop isolate Sounds interesting. It's a different sound. It lives. It tried to live. It tried to live. Come on. Is that it? Change it to run. Sit down. Let's put the reverser into neutral. Do I have any amps? Sure, let's put the reverser into forward. I know I've trained power again, but I'm now back to square one. Yes, I have amps! Fuck yeah, let's go! Yes! Let's fucking go! But we're a little bit we're a little bit behind schedule, but she's running. Fucking best mechanic. <laughs> yes, we got the power back. Fucking brilliant. Fuck me, we gotta make up for lost time. The, the sun's literally come out in the time it took us to get that running. Perfect. Fuck me. Yes, we got the power back. Fucking. Let's fucking go. Yeah, let's go. Yes! Let's fucking go! Fuck, we're a little bit we're a little bit behind schedule, but she's running. Fucking best mechanic. Let's fucking go. And give Sophie a mod. I think it's about time. There you go. Uh, Sophia, thank Greg, because you, you have earned it. It's been a while. Right. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, that's that.
Be our light, like you know. <laughs> Although knowing my look this far, it'll probably have a bit of scrap metal and a fucking. Um, for for, uh, for background music, hit hit me. Ahead, one third, helm I. Fifty feet below the keel. Oh, we bottomed out. <laughs> Never mind. Just my only gripe with this, like. I, I do much prefer the sandbox, do you know what I mean? Like... Let's fucking get that... I need to be a man! <laughs> I am... This, this is, this is, this is gonna be terrible. This this is this is this man. is going to be terrible. I have my only gripe. I, 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 I think it's about time.